Hey guys, Pi Guy Rules here, back with another TV log for Adventure Time. Um, I'm standing because my room is like a mess, and uh, yeah. Um, so I've been slacking on these, and it's just been that time of time of the school year. Things things get a little bit, eh, you know. Um, but don't worry, a few weeks I'll be back. But I, I intend on catching up with these uh, TV logs at least, uh, because there's a big episode of Adventure Time. Coming very soon. I'm excited, um, but I gotta catch up so I can be on time with that. Uh, so today's episode is Rattle Balls. Um, this was cool. This was definitely like the episode that needed to happen after Finn gets his awesome sword. Um, I guess because like, wasn't Finn amazing with his sword last episode? Like, wasn't he able to cut faces and everything? I mean, I guess that's, like, when the sword is cursed or whatever, it's able to be that good. But since Finn's just wielding it instead of it wielding Finn, he's not as good and needed training. Yeah, whatever. Either way, it was a cool story. Um, yeah, there is no doubt about it. Princess Bubblegum is quite the character. Um, I don't know. Like, there's been, a, a, like, a, an amazing amount of episodes dedicated to people's trying to to create life and like like bringing things back from the dead and you know creating robots and creating genetically you know engineered things and like she's got this god complex i i think i think that's what's going on i don't i mean she pretty much incites genocide on robots in this episode and that's a bit iffy. I mean, especially considering if Rattleballs was able to have, like, free will, what's to say that a lot of those other guys didn't? Um, and I get that they were dangerous, and I get that they're robots, but it's weird. Um, it's still, it's just, like, such a, such a line with Princess Bubblegum that I just, I can't tell. I really can't tell if she's even well-meaning, you know what I mean? Like, she's quite an interesting character. I love that it's more than just your average, you know, foofy princess up in the tower that Finn needs to protect. Like, in this episode, it shows that, like, yeah, Finn, you, you know, you can run errands for her. That's that's pretty much all Finn's ever really done in the series. He's run errands for her. He saved her once or twice, but, I mean, really, she's, like, not the damsel in distress pretty much ever. There's there's a few episodes, but mostly they'll use, like, Slime Princess or, uh, or maybe Lumpy Space Princess if they want, like, a helpless princess, but... Um, Peebles is, is definitely an interesting character, and, and I, I, I still would really love to see an episode where Finn or Jake or someone calls her out and, and just, like, questions her leadership skills. Um, but I love, I love that we're getting so much of this lore on the Candy Kingdom, like, so much of it. Um, I mean, like, like the episode with, uh, with Finn's spirit animal, or past life, or whatever that lady thing was um you know we see her constructing the kingdom and like we, we've seen her go through you know all sorts of like in root beer guy she's trying to improve the banana guards like she's she she is really concerned with the safety of her kingdom you can definitely give her that but it's kind of iffy when all the members of the kingdom are kind of stupid um but i guess i don't know i guess it varies because like in root beer guy we see that there are some of at least average intelligence um, you know, it, it's really weird. It'd be, it'd be kind of cool to deconstruct it and, like, I, I would, I would love an analysis on, on Princess Bubblegum. I would love to see an episode where she's kind of put under the microscope and say, like, hey, listen, your, like, your whole shtick is that you, like, mess around with things that probably shouldn't be messed around with. Um, but anyway, that's not what this episode is about. It's just a part of this episode. Um, and I guess, ah, I can't, I don't know, I, I, it, that fascinates me. And I guess what also gets me is that she's never really conflicted in any of the things she does. You know, like, she, she's like, all right, now, um, you know, I'm going to line you up one and two. Okay, one step here, crush. All right, two step here, crush. Like, she's not, like, giddy, but she's definitely not distraught over having to destroy all these things. Um... So, and, 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 I mean, and, I mean, like, the, this goes back to Lemon Grab, this goes back to, um, the time, the, what was the name of that thing, Goliarch, Go, Goliad, uh, whatever the, the giant monster things that she was 
trying to protect the kingdom with like it goes back there's a lot of episodes around this anyway enough of that um rattle balls himself is really cool really cool design um some people are saying it's a it's a nod to a regular show character that's a gumball machine could be um i like that he's upside down like it it's it, it's an unusual choice although man like if abraka daniel wasn't bad enough i mean rattle balls he doesn't look right i mean i like the design i do but there's just certain things that just is not right man <laughs> just not right um also the fact that he had a gumball stuck inside his body just um something about that just doesn't doesn't feel doesn't feel quite right um <laughs> but uh but yeah the story was interesting and he's voiced by rain wins rain wilson you, you would never guess that you know who that is that's dwight from uh, the office like he does not sound like that at all. Like, I, 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 if I didn't read it online, I would not know. This kind of hair. Um, if I didn't read it online, I would not know. Um, I would have never guessed. I mean, maybe they did something to his voice or something, but yeah. Um, it, he does a great job. And the only downside to that is that when you get the special celebrity guest stars or whatever, the odds of that character coming back really depends on how, how likely it is that the the uh the guest star would come back but you know it's happened uh weird al as as the the banana man or whatever came back so who knows um i'd like to see more of him i i could see him being like a the batman of the candy kingdom is like you know i lurk in the night uh but yeah that's, that's all good the only thing finn is a little bit annoying in this episode like i don't know he he's definitely going through some stuff and i've seen the next episode and I'll talk about it a little bit more there. But Finn, I mean, it's just kind of like, all right, dude, like, we get it. You're lonely and everything. Uh, but it was really cold how he just, like, absolutely betrayed uh, Rattle Balls and went right to Peebles. You know, he's like, if, if you go to her, you know, she will destroy me. He's like, princess, this guy's alive. <laughs> um, but I guess that's Finn's sense of righteousness, which is what takes him over. Um and again, we'll talk about that more in the next episode. But yeah, it's a cool episode. It really is. And, and it is it is definitely cool to see that it's an intentional trend that they're going with Princess Bubblegum. And it, it does, it feels like it's leading somewhere. It really does. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, Pie Guy Rules, out. <laughs>